Hey up YouTube, it's WG Revival here again with uh, another bolt action figure for you. Yep, and it's just one figure this time. I'm uh, forsaking batch painting because this bloke in an army full of fellas in brown clothing is the RAF guy. So he's a one off. I can't really batch paint him. Um, in bolt action itself, I think these guys are of. Uh, as much a danger to their own troops as they are to the enemy, but uh, certainly in the battle reports I've seen the that sort of one in six disaster roll seems to come up about nine times out of ten, so it's too too hilarious to ignore. And I think it sends a good message out for when I do start playing that yes, I'm not taking it that seriously because here I am, <laughs> here I am strafing my own troops. Now, it's not quite a, a one-off. There's no other bolt action stuff, but I have got this fellow here as well, who's, if you're not familiar with 40k and the Imperial Guard, he's one of the advisors, he's the master of the fleet. Now don't switch off, don't unsubscribe, I'm not going to turn into some massive 40k channel. This is just a little, a few figures I paint now and again really. I started doing... Um, Imperial Guard that look a bit like Brits before I started doing actual bolt action. I got a squad done and a commissar painted and uh, sort of lost interest really because I can paint I can paint bolt action figures brown as easily as I can paint Games Workshop figures brown and I can pay a bit less for it and I can have a more enjoyable game. But anyway this fella he's one of those that I I don't even know what he does in the game, but I think he's a fantastic figure. I think he's one of my favourite Games Workshop figures of all time, really. I'm thinking that is a Perry design, but I don't know about that. I don't know a great deal about who does what for him these days. But um, So there we go. There's an RAF advisor and an Imperial Guard. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Speak to you soon. Ta-ra.